Good day ladies and gentlemen. I would like to today give us a quick demonstration of how to use your powdered ink you get from us at Pumpkin Town Primitives. It will come in a packet similar to this and it has instructions on the front there and it's just uh, folded up. I've already taken the liberty to show what's inside here. It's just a little plastic pack that has the powdered ink in it. And um, you can do one of two things when you mix up your ink. I prefer powdered ink for several reasons. Uh, the main reason is because I can take it to events and not be so concerned about uh, breaking it or spilling it because I just leave it in the powdered form until I need to mix it particularly. So one form is you can take... Um, one of these little glass uh, ink pots like we sell here and you can empty the contents completely into the um, the ink stand or the ink pot excuse me and then you can just take a stick or an old quill and mix it around um, I just fill up the water till about there cork it when you're done that's good to stay at home with when you want to use the whole thing or I would use probably half uh, instead of the whole container because this will last a good while the uh, the other method is one that I prefer I actually uh, make these soapstone ink stands and so what I do with those is I actually just tip a little bit of the powder into the center pot here and then I'll take an old quill and just mix it around a little bit um, with the water so what I'll do with the water is I'll actually take an old quill and just dip my brush into the quill or my dip my quill into the water and I'll just put a few drops out to reconstitute it so I've had this powder in here for some time and I'll do it like this here I'll give it a little stir I can stow this away over here and then I can test to see the strength of it and I just tip the end of it get the tip end of it damp so that to me looks about right and just keep in mind that the um, the more water you put in with it the light the lighter the ink will be and to me it looks more authentic when writing a period letter not to use it completely dark so that's getting there i'll probably add a little more water to that in the meantime so those are two methods you can take the dry ink the powdered ink and mix it in an ink stand like i make here with the ink pot in the middle or secondly you can mix it in your ink pot yourself cork it and keep it with you at different events at different times but this gives you the leeway the benefit of the powdered ink is it gives you the leeway to make the strength stronger or weaker and when you're doing a period letter and you're trying to forgive me for the term fake the front to look like a different hand wrote different uh portions then you may want to make it stronger in places and weaker in places and that actually adds to the validity of the period letter itself. So that's just uh, a little shout out for uh, ink use today. These are on sale at our online store at PumpkinTownPrimitives.com. I think these are $5 a pack. They should last you a very long time. And I prefer them because they don't clog up the nib of the pen uh, like the India ink will do at times. So go and try it out. And... Leave your comments and questions below. Thank you.